Hey, it's Bridget. Sorry, did I just yell in your ear? <laughs> Welcome to Sunday Morning Coffee with Bridget. I have my coffee mug. Cheers to all of you who have helped to support the content I share here on this channel, Above Life channel on YouTube, and also on my vlogging channel where I vlog everything intuitive, talk about intuitive topics, do card readings and such on Fairy Grasshopper. So thank you. This mug is a wonderful donation and contribution to the community and to the efforts that I just appreciate. So thank you. Cheers, everyone. Mm. Do not let this beautiful sunshine fool you. It's cold right now. It's a little chilly. Let's see if I can. Oh, Ooh. Ooh. okay. I love the sunlight. You guys know I love sunshine. I got my Christmassy shirt on, my merchandise. I'll link below. So I was hoping I could just sit out here with the sweatshirt, but not so much the case. Okay, so I may have to put my hood back up. May have to. I'll try not to. May have to. All right, so what are we going to talk about today on Sunday morning coffee, ep coffee episode? There's a lot that we can talk about. This is spirit week, in a sense. This is the energy as we move into the ending of the year. We have opportunity to bridge, to walk over that little footbridge into a new year. So it's so, there's so many metaphors. There's so much we can talk about. The energy of spirit this week as we step into the start of this week on Monday is solstice, the winter solstice where I live here in the United States. We are experiencing the shortest hours of daylight and that is a significant for me personally because it's a new cycle that I step into and, and a new way in which I begin to connect energetically with the earth, with life, with opportunity, abundance, with this perspective that comes in with a new cycle. I feel much more grounded and rooted and yet, much like you, I can feel at this time when there's less daylight, confused and at a bit of a loss, a loss of motivation. This year I feel very appreciative of this cycle, more so than I think I have in the past. Oftentimes I try to push through and get her done, get things done, and I'm sure for many of you you can relate to that with the busyness of holidays, whatever those holidays may be for you, wherever you are in the world. There's different levels of expectation that we put upon ourselves as far as how to manage or handle this time of year, where we wrap up the ending of a year we look back on the year naturally even if you aren't doing it consciously you're doing it energetically and you are kind of taking stock of things you're taking a little inventory of how much you've accomplished and how much you have yet to do and that to-do list can put a lot of pressure and weigh down upon us as we round out the year not just external expectations but internal expectations internal standards internal pressure so we place upon ourselves like hurry up get it done oh my gosh oh my gosh well guess what the days will keep coming the new year will bring new dates on our calendar but for many of us this is just another turn of our wheel the wheel of the year that said there is this unique contrast between understanding that you know things just go on life keeps moving Things keep happening. The sun keeps coming up. The sun keeps going down. There still is the, <laughs> there are still these constants, these knowns. We know that there's a, a morning. We know that there's an evening. We know, we, we know that time in a linear format will pass. And yet with that, there's this incredible awareness, heightened awareness of the gift of that as time passes. There is a gift of presence in this perspective. I had a friend who um, unfortunately lost a loved one this past week. So if you're watching, my dear, I'm sending you and your family lots of love. Lost a loved one to the collective tragedy of the 
health crisis that we're in. Yes, that's exactly how her loved one died. And I'm, I'm so, so sending you love. Lots of hugs to you. And to all who have experienced that, that loss. I don't even have words. There's just this gap, this pause. And perhaps that's what we've been on, this big pause. And maybe that pause is catching up with us. And we're finally starting to get it and understand that time is a gift. As much as we try to race against it, maybe time isn't our competitor. Maybe what we're really competing with is our own internal values, our own internal worth, our own identities that we've created over time that have been gifted to us by others and their reflection upon us of who they think we are based upon who they are. And really, maybe all this is about is freedom. For some, it's freedom of life, freedom from life. Unfortunately, there have been so many who have crossed over during this time, which has made it very difficult for me personally, as I've shared before on Above Life Channel, to do channeling. It's really hard to be psychic in the traditional sense of communicating with the afterlife and predicting the future because there is no past and there is no future at this point. There's only now, which in a way is a tremendous sense of relief, but it's so confusing. It's so confusing because we still have this mental patterning of keeping up with the, the time, taking stock of life, taking an inventory, doing the to-do list, having motivation, making sure we keep up on the things we've already committed to, like healthy eating or making those Christmas cookies, whatever, whatever it might be, everything, it matters if it matters to you, okay? If it matters for you, everything is important if it matters for you. We're not going to compare to-do lists. We're not going to compare busyness. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. That's a mind, messed up mind pattern that we all collectively can release. Let's just Let's breathe in and release some of that mind stuff. We are the day before the solstice. And for me, the winter solstice is this beautiful time of rest where I get quiet. I have permission to be quiet, even though my mind fights it. Oh, my mind has been fighting it. Has your mind been fighting it too? Oh, yes, me too. And let's say, hey, in this pause, we'll say thank you to the brain. Thanks, brain, for doing a, jo a job doing your job. Thanks for doing your job. Okay, that's enough now. That's enough. My heart is stepping in and my heart is embracing this pause and acknowledging that through loss, we are going to recognize that the loss has not been for nothing. We have not wasted this time. We have been gifted the opportunity to learn what time really means, what life really means. We know that the future is not guaranteed. And we know we don't want to live in the past. It's over. The past is done. Whatever the past is for you, your heart may ache and miss that loved one. And yet you know that you are united forever in your heart, in your etheric heart, in your spiritual heart. You know that there is no separation. And yet I know that you grieve. In a way, I think we're all grieving when we start are starting to realize that we've lost a lot more than just time this year. Mm -hmm. All the stuff we thought was true and important in our lives has been shaken up, stirred up, mixed up, broken. And now the promises that we make to ourselves, we're starting to recognize, maybe, are you starting to recognize the promises that you make to yourself are the most important things of all? That's a sacred contract. Maybe we have to lose ourselves, completely lose our freaking minds in order to find our hearts and our souls again to unite in oneness. And then we'll include the mind. We'll bring it in because we're accepting like that. Unity isn't making one part of us bad. And that includes this understanding of this loss. Like, what if we've really been suffering loss for years because we didn't have this opportunity to get some massive perspective and now we've got it, what are you gonna do with it? Not action, what are you gonna learn from it? When I say do, I mean like embody 
I mean, be. What are you going to let yourself be free from? Let the loss create a freedom for you, within you, throughout your entire cellular body. Be free from the past restrictions of the, the mind and this old school way of being a person. Like your spirit. Give your spirit the opportunity to befriend your mind so your mind can be free too. Now, doesn't that sound good? That sounds good. Loss gives you perspective, opportunity for growth. The loss that I personally feel isn't so much in the time, it's this realization that all this time, I haven't been as nice to myself, as kind to myself, as encouraging to myself as I could be. I haven't been a great life coach to myself. I haven't given myself the benefit of the love that I have in my heart. Maybe you haven't either. It's not too late. You can start today. Even if your heart aches, even if your heart is aching, you have a beautiful essence and energy of light bringing forward for you hope. When your heart is cracked wide open, that's the energy of, of light. You have no more masks. You have no more, you have nothing left to mourn when you're in this place, this raw place of openness. And your vulnerability is beautiful. And I know it's hard. This week of spirit, there's, there's so many, like we have solstice tomorrow, there's Christmas this week, there's next week, there's New Year, there's so many things, there's a full moon, <laughs> there's all these things that are just signs, road signs for us to give us a place to pull off this highway this fast-paced living, this fast-paced mind living, pull off this thought highway and just pause and embrace what is here and now and what really matters is the here and the now, not the past and not the future, not where you're going, not where you've been, but who you are now. You are perfect. You are exactly where you need to be. You are doing because you are being. I feel you. I feel the love that is inside you. And even if you can't feel it for yourself, I feel it. So in this episode of Sunday Morning Coffee, I hope that in sharing this time together, I hope that you will go a little easier on yourself. I hope that you will start the healing process and let go of these old structured, this is how it's supposed to be at the end of the year. This is how it's supposed to be at the new year. It's not that big of a deal. It's one more day. Stop making things a big deal if it's not a big deal. What do you feel in your heart? That's what matters. What do you feel in your spirit? That's what matters. And if your mind is old school, outdated technology, <laughs> overthinking, embrace it with love and give yourself a chance to just pause on some of that. Just pause on some of that. Give yourself some room to rest. Even if it's like two minutes for a cup of coffee because you're going from one shift, you got a break, a 10 minute break, and you have to head into the next go round at work, the next round that you have. 
even if it's just a moment, just take it in. Take this day in. It's a gift. You're a gift. Happy holidays to you. Happy Spirit Week to you. Sending you many prosperous blessings of abundance, love, and connection. Thank you for being here.